Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic. Today I'm going to tell you, teach you how to not need an arm guard when you shoot. Okay, a lot of people do, still feel they do. A lot of people like them. Now granted, when you're wearing heavier, bulkier clothing, uh, an arm guard is a good factor. Okay, um, I'm at the point now where I haven't pulled an arm guard out of, uh, I haven't put an arm guard on in probably six years, six, seven, eight years. I don't even bother with them. Um, and there's ways that you can get to this point too. Even with an ASL style bow, which everybody says they slap their arm with, with these. A lot of people do until they learn to shoot them right. But it um, doesn't matter if you're using a recurve, doesn't matter if you're using a longbow, whatever it is. If you are hitting that arm, there are ways to fix that without changing your form. Okay, a lot of people will then tell you, go ahead and then uh, loosen your elbow, bend your elbow in so that your elbow is no longer locked and straight, but loosen it like that so you get that kind of a shot rather than that, you're like this. Uh, you, you don't have to do any of that. Okay, there's a simple technique in your bow that can solve that, that can, it, that can fix it for you. Now, um, what I do before we get to how to do it, what I also will do too is when I do wear uh, heavier winter jackets and I got a lot of bulk on my arm, which is rare because I usually will wear vests. I'll wear two vests and one jacket, my Columbia Center jacket, a vest under it and a vest over it, and I'm good. But that way I don't have that bulk on my arm. But if you want to, instead of taking rubber bands or arm guard or putting on it, just grab hold of that jacket on the back side pull it together like in a ball right here so it's tight against your front of your arm and put a rubber band around it or a girl's hair tie and uh, let that little ball sit right there and what that's going to do is tighten all that up on your arm it's a fantastic method if you need to but how do you get rid of that string slap on your arm because look at how i hold this okay you're going to get that the difference is the brace height okay with this bow, I shoot a six and a half inch brace height on this bow. Anywhere between six and a half and seven. Depends on how I'm tuning my knock height and things like that. But I, I do bounce around a little bit. But like right now, I'm at six and a half uh, inches in here in brace height. Now, when you increase that, you're going to get less string slap. When you decrease that, you're going to get more string slap. Now, I know we want to adjust our brace height based on the sound and the tune of the bow and that kind of stuff, and that does make sense, and that's how we should do it. But more importantly to me is to have it tuned to my arm, okay? So when I set this up, because I can run this thing anywhere from 6 inches to 7.5 inches probably, and, still, and I still get good flight with my arrows. So it's not a concern there. The concern comes in on when I hit my arm. When I drop below six and a half, I will start to get a cherry formed right on my arm, right here. That's where I'm gonna get it at. I will feel that string touch. So in the summertime, or now that I'm in Georgia, I'm running closer to six and a half because it's pretty perfect for me. It's nice, it's quiet, it's giving me the energy I want, it's giving me everything I want, and I'm not hitting my arm. When it gets closer to the season, hunting season and I start heading like in November when I head to my out of state hunts where I'm going to be in colder weather I will bump that up to six and three quarter on there will I notice the sound difference no I shoot a 710 grain arrow out of a 57 pound bow there's no noise difference okay I don't care what anybody tells you there's no noise difference I also have silencers which I make myself they are a two-part silencer they have uh, one, a little bit of a half a cat whisker in there and some yarn okay so I mean I, I there's no reason not to run silencers on your bow put silencers on it and then uh, shoot a heavy arrow and your bow makes no noise anyway okay problem solved okay but the brace height if you adjust it, so you adjust it, the, the longer your brace height is, the less likelihood of you hitting your arm. So if I run this at six and a half, right now where I'm hunting in short sleeve shirts all the time, and I just might slightly occasionally get a little graze, I'm okay with that. But as I start putting on bulkier jackets and things like that for hunting, I'm gonna bump that up to six and three quarter, go up a quarter inch, and now I'm not gonna hit even with my jacket on. So that's how you beat uh, your string slap on your arm is by adjusting your brace height further out. Make this distance further. Make it a bigger brace height. I know a lot of brace or bows, they sell you anywhere, they give you a range. Seven and a half to eight and a half, six to seven, that kind of stuff. To Steve that builds these bow, um, I asked him about it one time when I got my first barrack. I'm like, what do you what do you recommend for a brace height? And he said, that's the key. He said, you, what, you asked me what I recommend. Not what I, I don't give you a range. You ask me what I recommend. So I recommend you run them probably about six and three quarters, seven, somewhere right in there for that bull probably is going to work good for you. But 
I don't care if you run it at five and a half, and I don't care if you run it at nine. You find the spot that works best for you, okay? Same with all bows. Just because they give you a range doesn't mean nothing. Find what works for you. And uh, if your bow is, you know, if you're supposed to be at seven or you're set at seven and you're constantly hitting your arm all the time, bump it up to seven and a half. Try it. See if it stops you from hitting your arm. Another thing, too, for me personally, and I'm not knocking any string makers, and I'm not taking anything away from them. But when Steve sends these bows out, he sends them with these skinny strings, okay? They'll be like, um, they're like 10 strands of uh, D97, and, or 10 or 11 strands, or 12, or whatever. But they're real skinny, with big serving, and then they pat them out at the loops, okay? I hit my arm with those strings every single time. If I take a, a string that he's put on that bow and I shoot it, I am slapping my arm all the time. Soon as I take that string off and I put a heavier duty string, a more durable string on there, when I say durable, I mean a, a stronger string, like this is 16 strands of Dacron, I don't ever hit my arm again. Or if I like but with my Fast Flight Plus stuff I was making, I would make it a 20 strand string, I'd never hit my arm again. So those super skinny strings, for me, personally, only me, I'm not saying it's about anyway, but those skinny strings that people make today and they pad out the loops, they don't work for me. I hit my arm with them all the time. Must be because of how my fingers roll, I, I'm not sure, I can't tell you, but for me, if I take any string, any one of those bows that Steve would send me, um, now when he builds my bows, he doesn't even send me a string. He knows better. I'm not going to use it anyway. But uh, my bear guns and my first classic that I had, he, it, the strings that he gave me, if I go in the house and grab one and put it on it, if I shot three shots, I'd be bright red right here. Would be gone, just red. I take that string off, put these on, I'll never touch my arm again. So the string matters. The brace height matters. These are things that you can adjust without having to change your grip, flip this, roll that, bend your elbow, tweak this, turn that. You don't have to do any of this to try to avoid string slap. It's usually brace height can correct it. It's the benefit of living in a city. You get massive dump trucks that go by once in a while. But uh, this that brace height that can work for you and maybe even the string, you know, thickness of that string. Like I said, am I losing some FPS over the string that Steve put on here? Yeah. Do I care? No, not even a little bit. I'll take a thicker string that will not hit my arm and not make me wear an arm guard and it give me the consistency I want over a skinny string every day. And again, that might just be me. You know, that, that issue might be only mine. But I noticed it immediately. Once I put my own strings on them, I stop hitting my arm. But now, with that brace height adjustment, if I drop down to six and a quarter, even now with no t-shirt on six and a quarter, I'm getting a cherry on there. Okay, six and a half, I'm fine. Put on, you know, start wearing a Columbia center jacket over two layers of thermals, I'm gonna go up to six and three quarter. Okay, so that's basically what I do. Is it making any difference on anything else? Not that I notice or not that I care about. I'm a bow hunter, I'm not worried, I, it doesn't matter. So, little tip for you on how to beat that string slap with a traditional bow. Hope it helps you.